And from the ancient historic Bible, we're going to hear about some Israeli wine with ILTV's Wine of the Week. And for this week's wine pick, we're focusing on the Atir winery relocated at the foot of the ancient citadel in Judea and Tel Arad, just 10 minutes away from the vineyards located in the Atir forest. The Atir forest in the southern Judean mountains has a rich history of wine production and is one of the best areas for growing vines, having an extensive and developed wine industry since ancient times. And joining me now in studio with more is expert manager of the Atir winery, Eti Edri. Eti, so happy to have you this Thursday. Thank you, thank you for having me. Um, my pleasure. So just to know a little more, what can you tell us about the wine of the week? What did you bring us today? Well, I, we chose to bring one of the best uh, selling wines of Yatir, which is Yatir Aramasa, Mount Amasa. It's uh, 2020. It's actually a new release. It was released about uh, two weeks ago. A new release. What can, more can you tell us about the flavors, what it's actually about? Who is it for? Can I see actually? Sure thing. Yatire Amasa is actually a wine for everyone. It's a, it's a blend mainly uh, produced from Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah. You can also see other, uh, other varieties like uh, Malbec, like uh, Petit Verdot in it, which is quite unique. But what makes it special is that its production is made separately uh, all the way through the aging process. Each uh, variety is on its own. And then you blend it together and then you have a beautiful blend that comes in the palate with beautiful flavors of all kinds of fruits and spices and it's delicious for all Mediterranean meals. You're getting a beautiful gem you're saying. Now we understand that the place where you're producing the wines is one of the best places, as I said before, to grow vines. What more can you tell us about the actual place where the wine is created, produced and also really about the production of the wine, about the process? Well, uh, the grapes uh, grow in a very unique area, which is the da southern Judean hills. It's called Yatir Forest. Yatir Forest is the largest hand-planted forest in Israel. Some say that it's, it's also one of the largest uh, hand-planted forests in the world. And it's got about four and a half million trees planted by hand, which is something quite unique. And the vineyards are located inside the forest, which gives it a quite unique microclimate because it's in the mountain of a desert. So you get a very dry climate, but yet you get a little bit more rain throughout the year. So now recently, by the way, we had a lot of rain. So that was very, very good for us because it was droughty. And now that rain actually changes the whole microclimate. So we might be seeing a quite a unique 2023 harvest in three years from now. You know, it takes about three years until it comes out to the market. That's incredible. Now, I'm really interested, Eti, to hear about your, actually, your story, because we're having a lot of people coming in here, and also we're hearing a lot of people that are in the business because they're sons of or children of. We don't see a lot of women also, so I'm really interested to hear about your story. How did you get into the industry? How did you get into the winery? Well, thank you for pointing that out. That's always fun to tell uh, about the story of women uh, growing in that industry. And I was just talking about it today, that I'm 18 years in that industry. I started my wine world in one of the best wineries in Israel, which is Yatir. And after 15 years, I was promoted to become the export manager of the winery. And today we are exporting our wines to many countries. So it's not only just, you know, becoming one of the best tasters and people who understand in wine, but also becoming one of the uh, ambassadors in the world. So I feel very, very proud uh, to show the world that we are producing uh, quite excellent wines and it just happens to be kosher in general. You so. definitely have one of the best stories telling people when you're meeting them, that's for sure, one of oh, the best yeah. professions. And now if I want to come visit the winery or people want to come visit, when are you open? What are you actually doing? I mean, tours or just private people coming in? How's Actually, it it's been a, a dream of 16 years now where after, of course, COVID went away and we have a beautiful new visitor center that was built in Tel Arad where the winery is located. So we do have visits. Uh, people can come and visit the winery. It's daily open, of course, on Fridays too. Sometimes we do events there. So people come and taste the wines and see the winery itself. But the most beautiful thing is that you come to a place where it's a desert area. But uh, now, these days, which is February, everything is almost, I mean, March, sorry, it's all green. So when you come, you say, is this a desert or what? But it is. So not only it's a beautiful time to come and see also the blossom that goes around in the desert, which is uh, 
you know, yellow colors along green ones. You also get to enjoy a beautiful vineyard scenery alongside the winery itself. So I wish and I hope that everybody would come and see the winery itself because it's quite unique. It's actually having a, the whole story of the winery built on a wall and you can come and get a beautiful uh, wine instructing and of course wine tasting and cheese and bread and it's just a fun, fun experience. And it's in the south of Israel, which is something quite That's unique amazing. by itself. That's very unique. And also Israelis love a good Saturday in a winery or Friday or weekend anytime. Just a word about the other wines you brought us today, just like their name or just a little bit about them. Of course. It's a... Uh, we, we, what we have is actually uh, three series of Yatir, which is Amasa, Mount Mam, Amasa, which I was talking about before. And then we have Yatir Creek, which was, we have also white and also red. But the flagship of the winery is actually Yatir Forest. That's the first wine we have made. Actually, it's the first wine that I got to sell as well. And I'm very, very proud of it because it received 93 points by Robert Parker. It uh, also has the lion on top of it because it's representing the area where the grapes grow. It's the southern Judean hills. So the blessing of the Judean uh, tribe was always around milk and wine. We're just ahead of the holiday where you drink a lot of wine during the seder table. So Eti, thank That's you so much time. for joining us. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much for thank having me. Thank you so me. much. Thank you.